BeLife Biotech is one of the few early stage biotech companies that is successfully staging a U.S. initial public offering, an IPO this year. And the company is currently in the late stages of clinical trials and working toward developing a drug used to treat an eye disease. And with me is Dr. Tom Lin, the co-founder and CEO of BeLife Biotech. So congratulations on Thank your you IPO. It's, it looks to be successful. Let's talk about what your company is doing. So basically, as I understand it, this drug removes excess vitamin A from eye. So talk to me about this ailment. Is this a common thing? Um, it is um, very common. So we are targeting um, two eye diseases that currently don't have any treatment. Mm. Uh, one of them being Stargardt's disease, uh, which we are in phase three right now. Uh, Stargardt's disease is an inherited ge genetic mutation uh, that causes uh, vitamin A um, to accumulate in the eye. So we all need vitamin A to see. Mm. And um, the, the eye itself, the cells in the um, eye that um, changes the configuration of the vitamin A to become a, a um, structure that will detect or translate light um, images to your brain. Okay. And this, um, this will have a metabolic byproduct, and this metabolic byproduct gets recycled um, by a, a thin, la thin layer of cells called a retinal pigment epithelium. Mm -hmm. Now, this this actually occurs as a normal function of eye, as you are looking at me right now. That's happening in your eye. Now, this um, genetic mutation actually causes this um, toxic byproduct to accumulate in the eye, and that causes the cell. It's toxic for the cells and causes the cells to degenerate. Yeah, and you said it's genetic. Yes. And there's no treatment. Does yes. it lead to blindness? Yes. So, um, so because this is an inherited form, um, patients are actually born with this genetic mutation, and um, some of them have um, symptoms in um, around about eight years old in their early um, childhood. Okay. And by the time they reach their teenage years, they've already become legally blind because um, that uh, that accumulation and that deterioration of their retinal cells. Um, uh, slowly, uh, not slowly, but quite progressively uh, deteriorate and degenerate those cells. Mm. And because uh, you don't have any functional um, neurons to see eyesight, uh, for, that's responsible for eyesight, and therefore um, they slowly go blind. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. As, yeah. At such a young age, too. Yes. So yes. Um, tell me about your treatment. It's not a drop. At first, I figured it's, no, it's, it's not, not a drop. So yeah. tell me about the treatment. So because um, the vitamin A is uh, systemic, so we get it, the sources of vitamin A from our um, dietary intake our normal diets um, fruits vegetables and so forth mm -hmm. but it really needs to depend on a um, transporter protein that transports this vitamin A to your eyes so it doesn't really um, naturally go there I see so it has to rely on this uh, transport to go into the eyes and um, our, our treatment uh, mechanism is to reduce that amount of that transporter so it doesn't keep on transporting this retinal, retinal to the eye and then accumulating over there. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, modulating the amount of, of vitamin A that gets to, the, to there. So we are allowing just uh, normal, levels of, um, that, uh, normal levels of retinal just enough for normal function. I see, interesting. And, and therefore, we don't have excess amount of uh, vitamin A to uh, sit in the, re in the retina. And you are doing clinical trials, what have the results of those been? Um, actually, it's, um, we're actually quite surprised because um, from preliminary um, data that we have now from our phase two, um, our patients actually show a very good um, response to, um, to the eye. In fact, um, majority of our patients are seeing um, a visual acuity gain. Hmm. And this disease is expected to have a rapid visual decline. And um, we're actually quite surprised that um, the majority of these patients have actually improved their visual um, function. So even if somebody has gone through and lost their eyesight or most of it, this will help them get that back? Oh, we believe that um, if we intervene early, okay. and that's why we are treating um, kids with um, mm. this genetic mutation, which uh, they have already been diagnosed and have already shown symptoms, we believe if we intervene early and stop this, uh, further accumulation of this to toxic byproduct, which we call A2E. Is there a genetic test so you know who yes. has this? Okay, yes. so you know ahead of time and then you can work very early yes. with them before they see. Yes. Let's talk about business a little bit. So uh, yeah, you've had this successful IPO today. It looks to be successful so far. Um, tell me about what you plan to do with the capital that you've raised today. So um, we have enough um, funding to complete the phase three in Stargardt's disease. Okay. 
but we are um, targeting another indication, which is called a atrophic um, h relay macular degeneration, which um, is commonly known as dry AMD. Mm -hmm. Now, dry AMD is much um, is more like a uh, more of an aging disease, as the name implies, age related um, macular degeneration. Um, this disease has uh, much more multifactorial cause, but we believe that the vitamin A also plays a key role in the deterioration of um, retinal cells in the elderly. Oh, very interesting, and you're doing important work and changing lives. So Thanks thank so you much. so much, and congratulations. Thank you for having idea. me. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.